What's going on everybody? This is MVT Most Valuable Tech and I'm going to show you guys how to get customized icons for your iPhone and iPod Touch. If you aren't jailbreaking, because I believe there isn't a jailbreak out right now, not really sure, um, but, or if you just don't want to jailbreak, you don't want to, if you think there's a risk with it and you just don't want to do it, but this will just basically add a little customization to your iPhone and help you, um, get out of the ordinary right so the app here is called app icons right there you could find it in the app store for free it's a glare but try to get that whatever but it's called app icons um go ahead and click it and basically you'll come to this little screen here and there's hundreds not I shouldn't say hundreds there's 200 over 200 different icons and there's the different themes that you could pick out of them so here we go um when you first come to the screen, it might ask you to um, do different packages as well, but you don't have to do that. Anyways, you go ahead and click this little menu bar here to the side, and you'll see top 200 new at the top there. And that's just basically going to give you all your uh, new icons that just were out if there's an update or so. You could also search for apps, or you could just usually go to themes here. And under themes, you do have all these different packages say you want to go under metal here or the free version does have ads I guess that's one downfall to that but say you want to go to leather and you do have all these different app icons here now there is a limited amount as you can see you don't have all the apps in the app store being customized here but hopefully after updates um, they'll you know add more apps here but say you want to add um, eBay or so right or Instagram you could add two there you could add however many if as long as you have the apps you could add them but um, if you don't have the app and you click on it say PayPal I don't have PayPal it'll just say unable to select icon do you want to install it I don't want to install it I'm gonna say cancel so then you go ahead and install whatever you picked just go ahead and pick the install button it'll say save and install go ahead and press that too and then it's gonna kick you back into the internet or your Safari and it's going to take you to a site or a local host or such then it's going to take you back to your settings in which it has app icons has to be verified so you're going to go ahead and click, click install install now if you have a password go ahead and click that in install then you go ahead and hit done it's going to kick you back and you can just press home after that and then you'll see that you have your two little icons there so you could click them and it'll take you to the internet for Safari for two seconds and it'll hit you back right to the um, app itself. So this is really cool, really neat. I like what the developers did with that. And it just gives you an extra way to customize your icons. And it gives you a little bit more individuality than other iPhones or such. There is also a way to uh, make your own icon. If you click on that menu bar there and you go to icon maker you can hit icon maker and basically you could start with everything um, if you want to click for apps whatever app you want to make it for so say I want to make an app for um, Candy Crush Saga here you would click that click on skins up here scroll down click whatever skin you would want to customize it with I'm gonna hit this just because it's colorful and candy-ish and then uh, you can hit your frame here and I'm gonna click this glossy one just to make it look like a candy um, you can hit the decor button to put a little logo on there and say try to find a candy here. Do they have a candy candy? Here we go. Candy cane. So you can hit a candy cane or you could just add a photo from your camera or your library. Upload a photo there. You could add some text onto the app itself if you want to. But we're done here. So it says Candy Crush Saga on the bottom. We're going to hit that check mark there. And it's basically going to let you install. After install, it's going to take you through the same process, going to the local host, and then taking you back to the settings to get it verified. Click that install button. Install now. Password, like it matters, but <laughs> hit the done button. You can get out of that, and your app will be right there. You can hit Candy Crush, take you to Safari for two seconds, and kick you back to the actual app there. So there you have it, how to customize your app icons for iOS, um, for your iPhone, um, iPod. I'm not sure if it works on the iPad yet. Um, if it does, let me know in the comments below so whoever else views it can know. 
Um, this has been MVT Most Valuable Tech. Finally got to change my YouTube username to this, so that is my actual YouTube username now. So until next time, remember to comment, like, subscribe, and peace.